Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video which is going to be quite different today. So as everyone's locked in and you know maybe getting a little bit bored now, I've decided that I'm going to spend my day as a 1950s housewife. So I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time now and I also love the 1950s as an era so I was like why not spend the day as someone who was from the 50s who would have spent the day at home. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So to start with, I'm going to like make myself look like I'm from the 50s. I'm going to put an outfit on, the makeup and the style of a housewife from the 50s. And then I'm going to begin doing all the different things that a 1950s housewife would have done. So I'm going to be like cleaning the whole house, baking and just so many other things that she would have had to have done. So let's get started and put some makeup on. <music> officially begun the transformation and I have the outfit on, I have the makeup on and this is my 1950s style so I've gone for a red lip, obviously a classic for the 50s and I've gone for this really nice chiffon top with a camisole underneath and this knee like it's actually below the knee, it's like a really long red skirt so that's gonna be my little outfit and I also have some stilettos which I cannot walk in that I'll be doing the cleaning in so yeah that's what I've got myself ready with and yeah, let's go and begin. I think the first task will probably be to do some cleaning and tidying because that would have obviously been a main task for a 1950s housewife. So let's go and begin that. I mean, usually I'm the kind of person who only tidies either their own room or washing up. So I haven't usually sprung clean, sprung clean, sprung cleaned the entire house before. I usually just do small sections, but because you know, I'm, I'm gonna be indoors and this is what a housewife would have done. I'm gonna give it a go, I'm gonna give it a good go. So let's go and begin. Okay, so I'm basically gonna start now. I'm gonna do some vacuuming. I'm also gonna be doing this in stilettos. Wait a second, let me just show you which ones because these are high and I actually can't really walk in these. So I actually haven't worn these outside. I wore them for the theater ones and I'm not even lying. I couldn't even sit down in them. Like that is how difficult it is to actually balance. Like I was sitting and my ankles were like, no. So I literally had to have my feet on an angle just to keep sort of balanced sat down. So let me just show you the, these heels. They are, they're high. Okay, so these are the shoes. They're super nice, but they're very difficult to walk in. But I'm gonna be attempting to doing a bit of hoovering. So I'm gonna attempt to do a little bit of hoovering in these and we shall see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, so, so far what I've done is I have done the vacuuming downstairs and there's the vacuum just having a little rest. And I think the next thing I need to do is tidy up the kitchen because I'll be using that next to do my baking. What I would say so far is so far so good. Like it's, it's been like all right. The only difficulty has been actually doing chores with high heels on because oh my goodness, they are so extraordinarily difficult to walk in. Like at the best of times, they're hard, but like actually trying to do something practical whilst wearing them is really, really difficult. Like, it's such a challenge. So hats off to the 1950s housewife. Like she obviously had that down to a T. Like walking in these two housework is truly an art form. So all kudos to her. You should just go and tidy up the kitchen so we can get on with some baking. I think I'm gonna be baking some 1950s style scones with like ration ingredients. So let's go and do that. So I'm now going to start baking. So I've got all my ingredients here. I have my wooden spoon, my bowl, my baking book, and um, eggs, flour, butter, and there'll be some sugar in the cupboard. And I'm going to bake some scones. So, or scones, how do you say it? I usually say scone, but I just said scone. So I've gone all southern. So yeah. So basically I'm gonna make some scones. And this is the recipe book which I'm gonna be using. This is my mum's B-roll book from a while ago. As you can see, it is well loved. 
and it has lots of very classic recipes in and literally the front page has rich scones which are the ones with fruit in so that's the ones I'm going to make so I love this scone I feel like you can't go wrong with a fruity scone and a cup of tea I absolutely love that it's such a like homely wholesome treat and that is why I'm going to make it today so I'll be using basically simple ingredients because in the 1950s that's all they would have had so that's what I'll be going with and yeah I think I'm going to have a good time doing that it's nice and Relaxing, baking is always something that I do for fun, so I think that this will be part of it, which I enjoy. I didn't mind all the tidying up, but it's not really something that I always go to do. However, having said that, I have recently become quite into the hinge yourself happy mindset, where it's like tidying up as a form of like making yourself relaxed and feel basically more content and stuff. But I think baking now, let's get on with some baking. Just a quick close with some of the ingredients minus the sugar and also I'm going to add some fruit to this also. and now it's the evening and basically that was my day as a 1950s housewife it was so immersive I absolutely loved it I always love to bake so for me that was like something that I love to do anyway so as a housewife in the 50s I think I would have quite enjoyed that there was a lot of tidying up and obviously doing all the housework with high heels on I think is really hard so like definitely I'm glad that that's not the standard that we have to live by today um, it was a really enjoyable experience and I'm thinking of doing another one of these videos maybe with a slightly different style so I'll be having to think about this. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you have any other suggestions for me please do let me know down in the comments because I'd love to hear them. If you've got any like suggestions of other things I could do in 1950s style then definitely comment below because I'd be absolutely up for, up for that. Like I absolutely love the 1950s as an era, everything about it's so beautiful. So like today I absolutely loved wearing the outfit and I loved wearing the red lip as well. That was really nice, it's not something that I usually do, especially not during the day. So I absolutely loved that, it's very glamorous and it definitely makes you feel like more confident and yeah, it's just, it's very nice to just have a slightly different style. I really love the style and I think it's quintessentially classic and it is timeless. So like I was saying, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do, that would make me very, very happy and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon in a brand new video. Bye!